Well, if you were going to set your Stinson down on the turf runway of the Leesk Airport this Saturday, July 19th, 2014, you'd want to set your altimeter to 527 meters above mean sea level. Looking south along the line that the Canadian Northern built through here in 1910-1911 from Prince Albert down to Denholm on the Canadian Northern Main Line down by the Battleforts. Canadian Northern, of course, became part of Canadian National at the end of World War I. And this line passed to the Carlton Trail Railway, part of Omnitrax in 1997, and it was they who abandoned it and pulled up to steel in 2012. These are the last two elevators. The far one was built by the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool in 1961. And the inventory of existing grain elevators in Saskatchewan doesn't list the near one. Don't know when that was built. And look at westward along the main. Like most prairie towns, least is laid out perpendicular to the rail line. Canadian Northern having laid out the town site in 1910. And it looks like we're just a little bit too late to see the Windsor Hotel. It looks like a grand edifice and it was built back in 1912, but it burned to the ground on February the 9th, 2011. Or maybe 2012. like an old livery barn down there. This is where the station would have stood at mile 49.5 from Prince Albert. It was a, a third class station built in 1912 at a cost of $3,000. Sold off in 1982. There's a picture of it. Blaine Lake, there's an identical station, still standing. C.R. Wilson was reading all about the Snake Plain Trail. There's the curling rink and the ice arena on the other side of the X tracks. Settlers began arriving in this area in the 1880s, ranchers scattered here and there. It wasn't until the 19, early 1900s that most of the folks arrived in this area, a large French contingent in the neighborhood, Ukrainians, Hungarians, a sizable number of British folks. It was named after Robert Leesk, who homesteaded on the town site in 1903. Brand new fire hall down there. Leesk was incorporated as a village on September the 3rd, 1912. And this is 1st Avenue. And that looks like the post office way down there. And it is. Established January the 1st, 1912 by A.J. Chambers who moved down from Parkside to do that. the cenotaph. By 1912 there was stores, livery barns, banks, rooming houses, school had been established. By 1912 too the National Grain Company had built an elevator down by trackside followed by Saskatchewan Cooperative Elevator in 1914 and Saskatchewan Elevator Company in 1919. Searle, 1922, followed by the Province Elevator Company after that. Population of Leesk in 2011 is 413 folks, down a few from 2006. Peak population was in the 60s when it was 500 people calling Leesk home. Ouch, sorry about that. My technique needs improving. There's old All Saints Anglican, the oldest existing.
existing church in town. And the new St. Henry's Roman Catholic Church, or Saint Henri Putet. This looks like it could have been the United Church at one time. And the school, K-12 on 3rd Avenue. And of course it is the headquarters of the rural municipality of Lisk, number 464. Lisk sits on a glacial lake bed, as you can see, with dune daeolian deposits to the east and dune deltaic deposits to the north. Some of it's okay farmland. You can get a good crop if the growing season lasts long enough. The northeast corner of town, Highway 40 in the foreground here, leading off to the north to the Battlefords, about 130k to the left. This is Grid Road 792, also known as Township Road 471. Off to the right, Shellbrook, maybe 30k away. I'm looking towards the battlefields. The southwest here. And you can see they still break a little bit of bush around Leesk. Leesk, Saskatchewan. 